Hello and welcome back to episode 13 of Outer Wilds. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. I'm trying really hard to remember not to say the because I don't think it's part of the title, but uh, it's hard not to because I think it ought to be part of the title. So, Southern Observatory, south 550 meters. Well, let's go south then. This isn't south, this is north. Why, why would you do that to me? Hmm? What is this one? Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Below 90 meters. You know what? We're here. Let's check it out. Wow, it really feels like we're just going straight into that black hole. We've done this before, haven't we? Yeah. The way is shut. Yep, and we read that. And I think we might have rode this, too. So, can I? I can. Back up we go. South 550 meters, but south is this way. What am I... What's the disconnect here, hmm? Well, let's just follow the path and see what happens. Ah, uh, maybe it'll loop around to being south. I wonder... Did the, uh, did the Nomai not need to breathe here? Or are they dead because they weren't wearing their spacesuits? I don't think I want that. We did this before, didn't we? What happens if I... So that one's going outy. That one always goes outy, but this one... Why is that a thing? Yeah, so we did this. And, uh... And then we fell into the black hole. I think I made it further last time. Good job, me. What was that? Oh. I'm going to kill myself one of these days. Just mashing my face into things. Alright. No, no, no. In, please. Thank you. And... Open says me. Definitely didn't steal that joke from somebody. Bonk. Alright, and... We haven't been here this session, so I think we need to set it to running. Yeah. Come on. And now we gotta go to the other side to get back up. If I had any interest in singing, I would be singing a song about taking me away right now. I set it to spinning the wrong direction, didn't I? Yeah, we're definitely going the long way around. Does all of Brittle Hollow eventually wind up out here? <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? You know, I think sometime soon I'm going to spend a bunch more time scooting around on the interloper. Alright. And I believe we're on the far side of the planet from where we were, what we were trying to accomplish. So that's great. 
might as well refuel our jet fuel, jet pack fuel while we're here. Thanks, whoever that was. You know, I don't usually think of 400 meters as a long walk, but I suppose the threat of being just annihilated by either the collapsing planet or the attacks of the volcanic moon, um, it does spice it up enough to, to make it feel like a long walk. Having said that, there have been a couple of times in my life when 500 meters was not just a long walk, but an impossibly long walk. But that's not a story I intend to share. I have my reasons. I mean, yeah, I suppose my intentions could change at some point. At the moment, I don't, you know, intend for them to change. Okay, well, um, that could have been worse, eh? I wonder... Don't tell me that's how I'm supposed to get up there. Didn't I try <laughs> flying my ship under the crust? Oh yeah, that's how we found, um, that one guy who's hanging out on this planet. There are way too many names for me to keep track of. It's not my fault. Okay, so... Yeah, when you don't inter uh, intersect the falling crust, that jump is easier to make. Oh, okay. Up we go, then. And then over here? Yeah. Oof. And then what? Over there. My jetpack is on easy mode now. It's almost funny how easy it is to... Come on. There we go. Oh, I am making my way toward the South Pole. Good. Alright, this could happen. Busted up no my, no my stuff over here. And okay, here we are. Ish. Um, you don't want to go down there. I guess it's a good thing that I. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, ex excuse me. What was that? Is this going to finally take me where I want to go? Um, that's a problem. Does that just run straight through where I need to be? How am I supposed to deal with this? I guess that was relatively straightforward. Nice. Okay. And... 
Have we made it? Not yet. But I think we're getting close. Assuming we can survive that long. Oof, these are some long jumps. I definitely couldn't have made these before I knew how to jetpack. Okay. Any any interesting any interesting ooh, there's an up. Is there anything else I need to be looking for around here? No, I need to be going up. Not really sure how much time I have left before the end. So I should also be oh hurrying. Nailed it. All right, finally. Let's just go ahead and open this up. I don't think it's going to matter, but Yep, that's just the entrance that I couldn't open from the other side. All right, what do we got? Konoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one of one somehow sank down, down beneath the current, into the deep dark, deep dark down. Konoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kazawa convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but were very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. Okay, so we've read some of this before. Yeah, all right. And I don't need to look at what that projection stone does. Ship hull breach detected. Well, that's inconvenient for my ship. So we've got tornadoes. Kasawa's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. There also exists a... Uh, most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasawa typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. I also very much wanted to make a model. So, we got... Oh, can I not actually... Ah... So that's an uppy one, and this is a downy one. All right, so the one I want, the stuff close to me is moving left to right. Good to know. Hey, no, I wanna go up the stairs. What do we have here? What do we learn thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here, were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. 
Kasaba, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye story. You were no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Okay. Wait, can I turn them all on? Notes, please. Error unable to determine orbit. No signal detected. All right, let's just turn that off for now. So this should show us Bramble, and there it is. And do I get any notes for that one? No. This is a very cool map, but it's not very well lit. Except for then when it was too well lit. That's very neat. But we didn't get any more notes. Alrighty. And what do we got over here? How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Okay, so I guess I was wrong about that. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in really relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rainy and Pi about the technology they're developing? Okay, so I believe I speculated in a previous episode um, that they had uh, noticed the go back in time uh, that was happening when they uh, used their teleports. And so they are actually, they are deliberately causing a loop. Um, and the station we already know, launches a probe in a random direction, so it's just going to continue uh, having a supernova and then launching a probe until it eventually finds the eye of the universe. Or at least that's what it's meant to do. Um, maybe that technique can work and maybe, maybe it is doomed to failure And why would it be doomed to failure? Because the eye of the universe is in Dark Bramble. Maybe it even is Dark Bramble. I've seen this stuff somewhere before, haven't I? Not that I remember where. But I think I have... Oh, is that? Yeah, I think that must shape the the rings as they come up. Neat. All right. Well, since we are just kind of killing time at this point until the uh, supernova, why not have a look at this? Yep, that's where I thought it took us. All right, where's my ship? My ship is at the White Hole Station, yes? Or is it just destroyed? Um, ship? Hmm, 
I don't know where my ship is. I already listened to that. I guess the expedient thing to do now would be... That's not mine. Nope, that's somebody else's. Yeah, that's the white hole where Brittle Hollow is being chewed up, but my ship isn't there. Why isn't my ship there? Can I make it to the black hole before the supernova catches me? Yes, I can. But where is my ship? I suppose it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I wanted to go play on the interloper, but now that I know how to get below the surface of Giant's Deep, I suppose I should do that instead. <coughs> yep, yep. Why do we only see the stuff that we've experienced through one of the holes of the mask? Shouldn't we be seeing it in all three? of the eyes. <sighs> I have four eyes, so that doesn't make sense. Pachoom! Off it goes. To Giant's Deep. Off we go. Do you suppose my ship was actually, like, completely destroyed? I wasn't sure that was possible. I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely not surprised that it is possible. I'm just a little surprised that it's an actual game mechanic. So I need to find me a left to right tornado vortex whatever what is what is what is is the quantum moon back we don't have time for quantum moons right now it's giant steep time down we go Oh, and there I was in a in a giant one of those. But that's a right to left one, and I need a what? Was that a seed? Did did a seed just launch out of Giant's Deep? Where do I find the the one that I want? <laughs> Velocity matched. Yeah, see, that's it. I feel like I need one of these really big ones. Where do I find one, though? Those guys are all going the same way. That guy's going the same way. Is this going to be one of those time... Ooh. That's the one that I want. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. 
and yeah so now <laughs> is my is my ship stuck down here now now I need the assistance of a jellyfish to pass through the purple stuff right oh um that's not what I thought was gonna happen let's go EVA That one might have escaped from me. Let's try this one. Okay, so I don't want to touch the tentacles, but can I... Can I ride the head? I... Ought not ride the head. <sighs> okay, so I'm missing something else here. Don't tell me my ship is falling. bump into jellies. <clears throat> do I need a dead jelly? How do I get a dead jelly? Where are you going, ship? I think since I'm here, I might as well do a little first aid, right? Yeah. Alright. The jellies are 100% my way through. I remember that. Um, ooh, do I need, just need to get in through the very bottom? Let's try riding this one. I'm not getting shocked. <laughs> this is either a really good idea or a really bad one. And I don't think I know which. Okay. Now, how bad an idea was it that I came in here without my ship? What is this? I thought I was going to find a pod in here. This looks like bramble, but that looks like pod. Oh, what is going on? Is the is this is this orbital mechanics? Is that deep sea orbital mechanics? All right. Let me in, please. In. Thank you. I did not expect zero G. Oh, hey, that's where I saw it before. All right. Why am I here? Because I'm learning about the probe. No, no notes for me? There we go. Receiving data from probe 9,318,076. Great. Well, guess what? 
we're all out of time for episode 13. So come back and see me again in episode 14, and we will read the rest of these notes. And maybe find some new notes to read. And probably die. Maybe only once. Talk to you soon.